Hi Prabhu here today we will see about how to model and texture the night lamp in Maya 2017 using Arnold render engine the final output is look like this I hope you like it stay tuned Okay before that if you didn't subscribe to this youtube channel click this red color subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we post weekly three videos about maya 2017 arnold modeling texturing and lighting tutorials so every week three tutorials so please subscribe to this youtube channel so before we get into the actual project you need to set the project folder it's really important so because we doesn't uh we did not do only modeling so after that we want to texture and light like this scene so definitely want to set the project folder go to file and choose project window and choose new project so i will set my project name as night underscore lamp so like that so i will choose my location as my d drive you choose wherever you want and click accept go to create panel polygon primitives disable the interactive creation so that means when we click on poly sphere it will automatically create an center of grid press r and scale b go to front view so i want to move in up like this so i will delete this bottom face over here up to here and press delete in keyboard right click and choose object mode press r and scale in y little bit and press w i want to move in y so you need to keep this object above the grid like this go to perspective so double click on the edge and shift right click and choose extrude edge and press r and scale in mid so when the edge is selected press control plus f9 in keyboard so that means the edge will be convert as a vertex So now shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center double click on the edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so i need to in decrease my fraction amount to 0.05 so give segments to 2 so right click and choose object mode go to front view i need to move this object little bit in y so you need to keep exactly this object above the grid So now press three in keyboard. You need to rename each and every object. It's really important because we want to make lot of object in our scene. So you need to maintain outliner as clean as possible. Go to window and choose outliner. So when the object selected here, we have lot of input history. So when the object selected, go to edit, delete by type and choose history. So our history will be gone. Now I need to rename this object as night underscore lamp underscore. So this is base zero one. So now I will minimize my outliner. Go to create panel polygon primitives. Sorry, nodes primitives. Sorry, go to curves and choose CV curve tool option box. here you need to choose 3 cubic i will close my settings press 4 in keyboard that means you will able to see the wireframe mode you need to draw like this from the center press enter in keyboard so right click and choose control vertex so if you have any problems you will use this control vertex to adjust the curve so like this so now right click and choose object mode go to perspective when the curve selected go to surface and choose revolve option box 
I will go to edit and choose reset settings. I want to revolve in Y. I will give segments to 12 and you choose as a nerves and click revolve plus 5 in keyboard. So now you able to see our black object. So it's happened by lighting and two side lighting. So in normal it will be turned on. So you need to turn off to check our lighting is reverse or not. So I will off this one. So that means you able to see our liver reverse lighting. So I will select this object, go to surface and choose reverse direction. So I need to scale a little bit down. So select this object, go to modify and choose center pivot and press R and scale little bit down like this and scale little bit in Y. So make like that. So I will select my curve and press delete in keyboard. I want to rename this object as steel. Go to outliner. So double click on this revolve surface and rename as night underscore lamp underscore. So this is steel. 0 1 so I will minimize my outliner so now I want to create an poly cylinder go to polygons and click on poly cylinder I want to move in Y press R and scale down press W I want to move in Y press R and scale down like this and press W I want to move in Y so I need to increase my divisions to 40 so because I didn't smooth this object I will leave it default as as it is so I will give subdivisions to 40 so right click and choose vertex so I will select this bottom vertex and press R and scale down and select this one and move in Y so select the mid Vertex press Ctrl plus F11 in keyboard. Shift right click and choose extrude face. Press R and scale a little bit big. And shift right click and choose extrude face and press W. I want to move in Y and press R and scale a little bit big. Shift right click and choose extrude face and press R and scale a little bit in mid. Shift right click and choose extrude face and press W. I want to move in Y and press R and scale a little bit big. So like this right click and choose object mode. So click on this object and click on this isolate select. So double click on this edge. Shift to double click on this edge. You need to select all the corner edge using shift. Shift right click and choose bevel edge. So I give fraction to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. So give segments to 2. So right click and choose object mode. So in the object selected, go to surface and choose, sorry, go to mesh display and choose soft and soften edge. So like this. Now I re-isolate my object. So I want to rename this object before that I want to clear my history. So select this object, go to edit, delete by type and choose history. So our history will be gone. Go to front view. I want to move this object a little bit down. So like this. So go to outliner. I want to rename this as slot. So go to and rename night underscore lamp underscore so this is some light slot so I will do light underscore slot 0 1 so I will minimize my outliner so now go to and create and poly sphere and move in Y so you need to place like this so right click and choose the bottom face over here and press delete right click and choose object mode I move in Y and press R and scale a little bit down and press W I want to move in Y so don't bother about this light it will be hidden by that outer region so I want to rename this object as night 
underscore light underscore so this one is the bulb zero one so I will minimize my outliner so now go to and create uh, poly cylinder I want to move in Y I will use subdivisions to 40 so press R and scale big press 4 in keyboard so that means you, you will able to see our wireframe mode so right click and choose vertex so select the top vertex I want to scale in mid select this one and scale like this so I want to move little bit in down so I want to move little bit in up so go to right click and choose object mode go to perspective so I want to select my mid object press 5 in keyboard so select this one and click on this isolate select so I didn't want my back face right click and choose vertex so select this vertex press ctrl F11 in keyboard and press delete now right click and choose object mode so now I want to convert this top edge and bottom edge to curve so right click and choose edge double click on this edge go to modify convert and choose poly edge to curve option box here I want to choose best gauss 3 cubic and click convert so that means you got a nerves goes over here so you need to do same thing on bottom side right click and choose edge mode double click on this edge go to modify convert and choose poly edge to curve so now we need to create some thickness for this curve go to curves and surface and click on go to create panel nerves momentous disable the interactive creation that means when we click on nerve circle it will automatically create an center of grid I will move over here and press R and scale down like this so select this curve and shift select this curve go to curves and choose sorry surfaces and choose X X tool go to surface and choose X tool option box here you need to reset the settings I will choose tube add path component and choose profile normal as a nodes and click extrude so that means our curve will be extrude on over here so our lighting is reversed over here so I will select this mesh go to surface and choose reverse direction so now our lighting is fixed so select this curve and should select this curve go to surface and choose extrude option box so keep the same settings and click extrude so our lighting is reverse so I will select this object go to surface and choose reverse direction so see here it's huge big so I will select this curve and scale down so now you able to see our object thickness is less so now I want to clear the history so select all the object go to edit delete by type and choose history so open your outliner so and select all the curves in our scene and press delete so I want to rename our object so this one is the night underscore lamp underscore so this one is the outer part so I will give outer 0 1 so this one is the frame so night underscore lamp underscore so outer underscore frame zero one so I want to copy these things so right click and just copy so you need to paste over here so this one is the frame zero two and press enter so you need to keep your outliner much clean as possible like this so I will minimize my outliner so I will re-isolate this one so now you got the uh, perfect shape of our night lamp but you need some support for this uh, outer region because it's not fixing anything 
so go to front view and press 4 in keyboard so we need to create and support using polycube so go to polygons and click on polycube press w i want to move in y and press r and scale in this direction go to perspective and scale in this direction and scale in y go to front view and press w so you need to fix to this corner over here so over here so you need to insert edge loop shift right click and choose insert edge loop too so you need to insert edge loop over here and press w i want to move over here so don't overlap this light so you need to add another insert edge loop over here and press w over here so you need to select this vertex i want to fix over here so and press e and rotate like this so press w i want to fix over here so select this one and move over here so you need to add another edge loop shift right click and choose insert edge loop i will insert edge loop over here i will move on this side insert edge loop add over here and press w like this press g i will add over here i will move like this so right click and choose vertex i will select this one so press G in keyboard I will add one more over here so this is our uh, support to this outer area so like this so now uh, add insert edge loop in this corner so now isolate select this object so select this object and click on isolate select go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so I want to select all this three edge I want to move in Y so to create some thickness so add an insert edge loop over here 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 and also in top so I already add over here so you also add in this area and over here now press W right click and choose object mode in the object selected press 3 in keyboard to smooth our object so I need to fix on the side so right click and choose for text so I will select this one I will move over here so it will looks like round shape so right click and choose object mode so I will isolate re-isolate this object so now we create this support for our outer region so go to front view press 4 in keyboard so I want to keep my pivot so this uh, support pivot in center of grid so hold D in keyboard and move on exactly in center so like this so now our object pivot will be changed over here now I need to rename this object as so go to outliner so this is some support so night underscore lamp underscore so support s u p p o r t zero one so now when the night lamp support selected press ctrl d in keyboard so to duplicate our object you need to scale in x so I need to give scale x to minus value so you need to give minus value and press enter so that means it automatically flip on this side so give scale so press ctrl d in keyboard and give some minus value over here and press enter so it automatically fix on this side go to perspective press 5 in keyboard now you able to see our support will be create in opposite direction so 
automatically rename as support 02 so now we completely model our night lamp over here so except one thing so the back wire so before that we need to create a uh, wooden box over here so I will group this all objects so select all the objects in your outliner using control press control G to group I want to rename as light underscore lamp underscore GRP so that means group 01 so now I minimize my outliner so create an poly cube and press R in keyboard and scale big go to front view and press W I want to move in Y so to fix exactly below the grid so like this go to top view right click and choose vertex so I will select the vertex and press R and scale like this so I need to keep this one minimum like this so I will extend this one will really big so select this one I will move a little bit in front so select this one I want to move like this so go to perspective now you able to see this thing so select the bottom vertex I want to move down so right click and choose edge mode so select all the edge over here shift right click and choose bevel edge so reduce the fraction to 0 0.05 and give segments to 2 so right click and choose object mode so select this object go to mesh display and choose soften edge so like this so this is the wooden box so I want to go to outliner and rename this as wooden underscore box 01 so I will minimize my outliner I want to clear my history so select this object go to edit delete by type and choose history so now finally we want to model our wire using CV curve tool go to top view press 4 in keyboard so you need to draw from here so go to create panel nodes primitives sorry code tools and choose cv code tool option box i will choose my three cubic so draw from here so like this up to here and then go to front view i need to draw like this So extend up to here so and press enter don't bother about this bottom region because it's not shown in our camera view go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard right click and choose control vertex so select this one and press W I want to move in Y and move in Z so to fix this curve inside of our base object so like this now right click and choose object mode so right click and choose object mode so now create an curve no circle I want to move on this side so select this object and shift select this curve and go to surface and choose extrude option box so keep the same settings and click extrude so click this one and go to surface and choose reverse direction so select this curve and press R and scale down so you need to give very tiny bit of thickness for this wire so like this so it's enough so now select the curve so go to outliner so select the curve one right click and choose control vertex press 4 in keyboard so I need to select all the ground control curve and press W press 5 in keyboard I want to move this wire little bit in up 
so like this so I need to select the go, uh, extrude surface go to edit delete by type and choose history I want to delete all the codes so select this both code and press delete in keyboard I want to rename this object as wire so this is night lamp wire so I will give night underscore lamp underscore wire zero one so that's it now we need to give and backdrop so just create an polyplane and press R in keyboard and scale big I didn't want any subdivision so go to polyplane one and do subdivision with then height to one and press E and rotate X to 90 so go to top view I want to fix this plane back of our wooden box and move in X go to perspective and press R in keyboard and scale a little bit big so like this okay so I want to rename this as backdrop so back underscore drop zero one okay so that's it that's the end of our modeling now we need to texture this object okay so now we need to uh, texture this wooden box so this is an uh, we need to unwrap this one because we need to apply an wood texture so select this object and click on this isolate select so many of the beginners we did not use an UVs so UVs is really important when you have manual texture in Photoshop so it's really important so I will minimize my outliner select this object so listen carefully so go to front view so I will select this object and go to modeling in UV and choose planner option box so here you need to choose bounding box and choose camera and turn on this keep image with and height ratio on so and click project so now go to perspective so right click and choose object mode so I will hide my grid so I will uncheck this one so that means our grid will be high so see here this is our uh, left side so this is our right side so now in left side double click on this edge so that means it will select the entire loop up to here and shift to double click on this edge on the side and shift to double click on this edge so don't select in front so you need to select this edge this edge and this edge do same thing on right side so double click on this edge and shift to double click on this bottom edge and shift to double click on this edge so don't select this front region so and go the back side over here so double click on this bottom edge on the center so that's it so you will check if it will be perfectly select or not okay so now go to UV and choose UV editor now you able to see our object will be select like this so here you need to choose this one separate the UV along the selector edge so sometimes it will be hidden you will expand this one and click on this one so that means our selected edge will be cut so right click and choose UV so select all the UV over here shift right click and choose unfold so that means it will unfold perfectly over here and press W I want to move over here and press R and scale really big so this is way to unwrap our cube so if you have doubt rewind this one and see again what we have so I will close my UV editor now we need to apply an wood texture for this one so just to google it in uh, over here and choose wooden texture and download any wooden texture over here so I already download in my desktop 
so as a wood so I will copy this one you need to place this one in your source images go to your destination folder in this case my D drive night lamp in source images I need to paste this texture so after you paste over here so you need to apply an AI standard so right click and choose AI standard so assign new material Arnold AI standard I want to rename this as so go over here I want to rename this as wooden underscore box underscore box underscore AA standard and press enter in color option you need to click on this checker and choose file and filter type to off in image name you need to click on this folder it automatically go your destination folder source images click on this wooden and click open so it will be open but it not visible press 6 in keyboard to see our texture mode so that means you able to see our texture will be applied to our uh, wooden object so if you if you did not unwrap like this the texture will not be fixed perfectly over here so you definitely want to unwrap this one so now right click and choose object mode so don't care about reflection so when we start lighting we will increase our reflections so now I re-isolate my object over here so select this object and shift select this frame shift select this frame and shift select this uh, slot so light slot shift select this support so these all are same material so I will select all these things like this right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard so I want to rename as common name as black underscore AA standard so and choose and dark black so don't choose pure black you will choose up to 90% black over here so add little bit gray so you need to give some 90% black so now I want to view and steel texture for this one so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard and you I didn't want any diffuse color for this one because this is an steel object so I did not want any diffuse weight and rename this AI standard as steel underscore AI standard and view specular weight to 1 view roughness to 0 0.2 so something like this so that means it will act as a glossy object so example steel so I want to view some wire color so select this wire right click so in object mode so I will select my object mode so select this object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard and choose a black color so same black color and I want some reflections so I will fix it later so after we start lighting so and rename this as wire underscore AA standard so now I want to do some color for this one so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard so I want to do little bit sandal color over here so like this so I want to rename as outer underscore AA standard like this so this one is a backdrop so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard and this one is the backdrop I want to rename as backdrop underscore AI standard 
so this also I need to use some sandal color so very tiny bit of sandal so I will use little bit of darkness so like this so now we use some basic material so now we need to start lighting before that we need to set our camera view so I will minimize my outliner so click on spacebar so that means you got four viewports so I will extend this one so that means you got only two viewports over here here I need to set my camera view go to rendering click on create cam it will automatically create it in center of grid press R and scale B go to panels perspective and choose camera one so now I need to set my camera view over here so see here here it will not show our wooden object press 6 in keyboard so that means it will act as a texture mode so now we need to fix our camera view like this so here you need to set two things go to view camera settings and choose over scan view camera settings and choose resolution gate I want to zoom in little bit so like this okay now click on this lock cam so it's new in Moya 2017 when you click on this one you cannot able to move this viewport okay now we start lighting okay open your Arnold render view over here so in default it will be render our uh, perspective shape you, now I need to render my camera view click on here and choose camera shape one so I will minimize this one sorry I will move on this side so we didn't see anything because we need to set our light to see uh, any objects in Arnold render view so go to perspective so I will select my light bulb so I want to view mesh light to emit light from this one so go to night bulb shape one over here so here you need to expand this Arnold and here you need to click on this Arnold translator and click over poly mesh and choose as a mesh light so that means you will able to see our object will be casting light so I will increase my exposure much more so I will do 5 so or 6 so it's enough ok now you able to see our light will be glow but it's not visible in this mesh over here because this light will be blocked by this mesh so I will keep this image for comparison so I will click on this store a snapshot button so that means it will store our uh, snapshot so but this mesh will be uh, block this light over here so why we cannot able to see the lighting over here so select this object and right click and choose material attributes so go to this material over here here you need to find the backlighting option in diffuse you need to give black lighting to one so and uncheck this eye to render our region so over here so now you able to see our light will be cast by this mesh so that means our light will be alone by this mesh so when you increase the backlighting to one so now I compare the previous frame click on the store a snapshot so now we compare the snapshot one so here it will block our lighting so in snapshot 2 when we increase and backlighting to 1 so the mesh will be allow our lighting outside so it looks great but we need to apply some bump map to uh, for this object so select this object and go downside here you need to find and bump map bump mapping so and click on this checker and here you need to go to 2d texture and choose fractal so and give bump depth to 0 0.2 something so like this so now I uncheck this eye to render our current frame 
so i will zoom in little bit here you need to see our bump map over here so i will give bump depth to 0.1 it's enough okay so now it looks great so see here here we did not see any reflection for this material so i will select this object and right click and choose material attributes so now you able to see our um, black AI standard so I need to so I will keep this image for comparison so I will click on the store as snapshot so now I need to view some specular weight to this object so I will do specular weight to 0 0.2 so and also roughness to 0 0.3 So I will give roughness to 0 0.4 okay now you able to see our reflection so I will compare the previous frame click on the snapshot so that means I will click on the snapshot 3 so here you did not see any reflection over here so in snapshot 4 you able to see our reflection so I also increase my reflection on wires so I will uh, go over here so I will select my wire and right click and choose material attributes here you need to give refraction uh, weight to 0 0.1 and roughness to huge bit so as is 0 0.5 so I will uncheck this eye to render again okay now you clearly able to see our reflection will be happen on our wire so i also add little bit of reflection for our own texture so i will store this image for comparison so i will click on this one so that means it will be stored so now i select my wooden object and right click and choose material attributes i give roughness weight to 0. 3 and roughness to even big 0 0.6 so I have reflection but it huge big so I will give reflection weight to 0 0.1 okay now you able to see our reflection will be happen over here so I will click on the store a snapshot button so I will click on snapshot file so here you won't find our reflection so in snapshot six you clearly able to see our reflection so now we finished our lighting now we need to reduce lot of noise over here so it will be happened by our mesh light so i will select my mesh light so here you need to view samples to huge big values so before that i want to reduce my reflection uh, samples also so go to render settings so i will render this particular region using shift and click and drag to render this particular region so i will uncheck this eye to render over here so i will shift left to mouse click and drag to render this particular region so now i need to increase my arnold renderer in render settings i will increase my glossy reflection to glossy samples to 6 so now it's clear our noise on this reflection area so I will uh, also increase my diffuse depth so I will select this region to render over here so I will select my mesh light and view samples at least 6 so it's not clean up so I will increase much more so I will use samples to 8 so I will render my full region over here so I will for checking so uncheck this one crop region so that means it will render our full region okay so now I increase my samples to huge high so as a 8 but it's also not clearing our noise so I will keep this image for comparison so I will click on the store a snapshot button so I will compare the previous frame and 
sixth snapshot and seventh. So now it will be reduce lot of noise over here. So it will be happened by this light. Now you need to reduce this area using our Arnold render camera AA samples and also and diffuse samples. When you increase our diffuse sample high, so the render time is take huge huge big. So but we need to clear a noise. So this is the only option. So I will close my Arnold render view. I need to render my uh, scene as HD. So I will choose in my render settings in common tab. So I will choose my camera one. In preset I want to set my render as HD 1080 and go to Arnold render view. So I will increase my diffuse up to 6. So remember so when you increase an uh, diffuse samples it will takes huge huge render time. If you have low configuration PC please keep this image uh, with the height as low as possible. So I will take as full HD. Okay, so go to Arnold renderer. So I will keep my uh, diffuse samples to 6, glossy sample to 6 and camera a, a samples to 5. So and it takes huge render time. So I will open my Arnold render view and it will uh, render our image. So I will reduce my render view a little bit smaller. So I will zoom out. So I want to click on this one so to render our region. So it will take huge render time. So I will pause my video and come back again. Okay, it's still rendering, but so it looks great. So you also able to see it reduce lot of noise, but it takes huge render time in my particular PC so it's still rendering but it takes up to 40 to 45 minutes if you have low configuration PC please reduce your render settings in common tab so you need to reduce this preset as 614 to 480 or HD 720 so I will take on full HD so it will takes huge render time if you have low configuration PC, so you will reduce your render time. I also reduce my bump for this uh, object. So I will reduce my bump value to 0 0.010. So now it looks great. So now I preview my final file over here. I hope you like it. I see you on next project. Click subscribe button to subscribe our YouTube channel. We always need your support to create high quality content further. So please subscribe. Click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017 part 2.